Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talk. I'm Mike Fuson from Excalibur. I have a special guest with me today, Tom Petley from Halo, uh, across the pond. Tom, how are you doing? Hi, Mike. Good, thank you. Yes. Uh, and we're going to begin a series uh, where we're going to share with you some of the exciting and innovative things that Halo brings to the table for you as an ITSM platform. One of the things, Tom, that we see all the time uh, when we're doing demos for customers is a comment we hear regularly is that the Halo platform really seems to be super intuitive. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping you might be able to share with us uh, kind of what that looks like and why people say it's so intuitive. Yeah, sure thing. Let me just share my screen for you. So, I hope you can see my screen okay. Um, so, I thought I would possibly just show you a couple of areas which um, we get kind of the same feedback on. Um, something the really nice parts about Halo and the first thing I just thought I'd show you was just how basically how you'd use it on a day-to-day -day. so some of the very simple things that just make it they're very intuitive very obvious on kind of how to use the system um, so just a couple of things just the view you've got here and this you can just sort by any of the columns so you can work from your SLAs back um, so you work on the oldest first whilst we sort by your priority so your high priority incidents first and also that you can just filter on these columns as well. So it's hopefully just if you hover over these, it's just very intuitive if you want to filter on high priority, for example, possibly a keyword in the in the subject line. Um, that everything kind of about Halo is trying to make it as easy as possible to kind of do your jobs and um, make your day-to-day -day as easy as possible. Um, the other thing I just thought I'd highlight is the, um, the ability to kind of add columns in here as well. So within Halo, we try and make it very, very straightforward. If you if you want to display slightly different fields, you could include something like the category here. And we can just add that into our main view and just kind of drag and drop it to reorder after the summary field. And just save that and you'll see it appears um, just next to the summary here. Um, and as well as that, those views can be either individual or they could be kind of role-based or team-based. Um, the other thing I thought to show you, Mike, is the um, is the ability of how quickly it is to kind of log a new incident as well. Um, so that's another big part of the system is just how intuitive it is and straightforward it is to, to raise an incident. So just down the left here, we can just select the user, just simply start typing them in and that will populate the user. I'm not going to go into it today, but that could populate from kind of Azure AD or Active Directory or wherever your kind of users are stored. And within here, it's just a simple form, um, which is very easy to configure as well. And I can just raise an example um, incident on here. And then put some, oh, spelled that wrong. <laughs> uh, raise an example incident. Um, select the incident details. And again, it's just it's very straightforward and I can put things like screenshots in here and attachments. Well, you've got the little toolbar there, which are common things that people are used to seeing as a text editor. Absolutely, yeah. 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 If you try and make it, kind of don't take it away from your what people expect and what people are used to. So you can kind of go into here and change fonts, and kind of colors and what have you, and kind of insert links. And it's all your, your standard kind of text editing functionality, um, which hopefully makes it easy to pick up and start using. Um, as well as that, it's just simple fields as well. We can search on our categories, for example, we can populate our impact and urgency. That's just behind the scenes is setting that priority. And if we do want to kind of link it in with the, the asset management, we can then link this incident to an asset as well. I'm just going to link that back to this workstation here. Then just submit that. And then that will just drop into the system. Um, and depending on any automation or rules that we have set up, that will just drop into the system wherever we want it. In this case, it's just gone to this first line unassigned queue. Excellent, excellent. So really the, the whole design principle that you guys have taken at Halo is uh, make it intuitive, give the users what they're used to seeing to make it easy for them to be able to log a ticket or create a change or create a problem or any of those sort of records is make it simple and make it quick 
because that's the other thing we hear quite often with the system is it's very responsive. Um, yeah. This is fully fully web based, and I know from our conversations that you guys are using the React technology um, to make this a super responsive platform. So, Tom, thanks for sharing uh, uh, with us today the the intuitive. Uh, design that's built into Halo. Uh, we uh, invite everyone to, to join us again as Tom and I will be sharing uh, other very, very exciting and neat capabilities within the Halo platform. No problem. Thanks a lot, Mike. Yeah, thanks for your time. Great. Thanks, Tom.